put 30 million people in the UK who have got a credit card and those people can use their card in three main ways. You can use it for purchases, so go and buy your weekly shopping or your petrol. You can use it to withdraw cash, so go to the local hole in the wall, get your money out there. And finally, you can use it to transfer money to your new card from an existing credit card to get a, a, a better rate. The thing that people don't realise is that the different um, sorts of purchase, so buying things, getting your cash, or doing a balance transfer, all attract different interest rates. And the problem up to now has been that when you get your statement, if you make a payment which is only partial or the minimum amount, that payment will be allocated to the cheapest part of your borrowing, leaving you exposed to paying highest interest rates on the, on the rest of the balance that's outstanding on your account. But the changes are coming are going to make this much better and much fairer for customers. So industry changes that are taking effect from 1st of January 2011 um, will require credit card providers to allocate a customer's uh, payments to the highest interest rate um, rather than the current practice where it goes to the lowest interest rate. And this will really help a lot of people. I mean, there's 40% of people out there who don't pay their balance off in full. That's something like 12.2 million customers um, who are going to benefit from this by actually paying lower interest rates because of the change. These industry changes agreed with the Department of Business Innovation and Skills are due to come into effect on the 1st of January 2011. However, MBNA have got their systems up and running and ready to make these changes from September. So they're four months ahead of the game and their customers are going to benefit from now. If you want to find out more about these changes, take a look at the inserts you've received with your statement, or perhaps spend an extra couple of minutes looking at the statement itself. Don't just look at the balance and the amount you've got to pay off. Just have a quick look at the interest rates, terms and conditions, etc. Just familiarise yourself with those. If you're still not clear, then you can always give the guys a ring at MBNA or go to the website to check out the information there.